Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about an older racket. This older racket, the Wilson N Code. Yes, I'm saying N Code. This orange N Code N Tour. Now, why am I going to talk about this racket? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned. Hold tight. All right, so the ENCODE ENTOR, this particular racket, was made famous by Justine Enna about, oh crap, like 15, 20 years ago now. Um, and it only really stuck around for two years. And then it came back in a new version called the ENTOR 2, version two. So basically had a four year life cycle uh, most people still look for this one though. So why am I talking about this racket? Well, in the last five, six years, this has been my number one racket uh, that I've had to find for people uh, to basically find a substitute for, for this racket. And it's one of the most difficult rackets to find a substitute for because it's so unique. Now, why is it so unique? Let me show you the numbers. All right. They don't make them like this anymore, okay? So, the head size is a 95 already, right? Not too many of those. Length, 27 and a quarter, right? Again, don't see many of those around, right? The beam is a 22, I can find that. String pattern is a 16 by 20. Okay, I can do 16 by 19. That extra cross is gonna be problematic. The composition, I mean, that's mumbo jumbo, 25% encode hypercarbon, 75% graphite. I mean, that can be you know easily ignored. The flex is a 61, right? So the combination, the combination of all of these numbers make for a very, very unique racket. Um, most of the people that I'm trying to substitute this racket for came from college. Uh, they, I would say 80% of them came from college and they, they were women. 80% of them were women that played in college at a very, very high level. Uh, so it, you know, and like I said, they don't make rackets like this anymore. So it, it was difficult for me to basically find something that they could easily adapt to. I mean, easy answer would be, I mean, how about a pure drive? You're getting a little older now. Uh, maybe you get something a little heavier, pure drive team, pure arrow banana team, right? But they don't give the same solid, solid, soft 95, 16 by 20 string pattern feel as this racket, right? Um, what other rackets could I do? Well, I'm going to tell you at the end, but I want to also weight and balance this for you just to tell you how unique this racket is. Hold tight. At the scale. Rio 1.5. What's the swing weight of this? Three twenty four. I'm just going to do the balance on the machine here. Let's see what we get. Three 
343 is our balance here. All right, so I had to take the racket out and give it a quick hit. Um, you know, when I tried this racket out, Jesus, 17, 18 years ago for the first time, maybe 20 years ago, um, I wasn't really a big fan of it. Um, I thought it was too light, uh, a little too clunky. Uh, sweet spot was a little on the small side. Um, I hit with it again now, still don't really like it. So uh, not understanding why, but maybe this is not my type of racket, right? So I look back on the history of this racket and it really, really started off as a hammer 5.2. Do you remember that hammer? 5.2, it was purple. It was pretty purple. Uh, 95 square inches, pretty heavy in the head, um, pretty thin beam, right? Uh, I sold a lot of those because it was pretty. And we're talking literally 1990, 1991 in that time frame. It eventually became a um, H, right? An H, I think it was. An H uh, 5.3. Uh, Hyper Hammer 5.3, uh, Hyper Hammer first, and then H 5.3. Uh, so it does have a lineage. Um, this is a little different than those, though, because this is kind of more, it doesn't feel as head heavy. I mean, I could definitely be wrong. I just wasn't a fan of the racket, even when it was a 5.3 uh, Hammer, right? Or 5.2. 5.2, sorry. So, Back in its lineage, it started off as a Hammer 5.2, uh, purple. Do you guys remember that? 1990, 1991. Uh, so that's where the lineage started from. Uh, then it went to a, was it Hypercarbon 5.2? Then an H5.2. H5 um, it has had a history. It has been changed a bit since then until it got to this model. Um, I don't think I ever liked any of those rackets um, and I still don't, right? I mean, it's, but a lot of people did, uh, as I keep saying, right? A lot of women particularly did at a high level. So it was basically a lighter racket, a lighter player stick that catered to um, a pro level woman right? I mean, you start off with a purple racket, you're probably going to be catering to women to start is what I'm guessing, right? So um, with the specs that we have here and knowing how the racket is, I mean, obviously, if a person were to take this racket into me today and say, hey, what racket should I play with? I'll be like, yeah, this is going to be difficult. And I've said this to people. I was like, this is going to be difficult. That's a very, very unique racket. One of you actually um, emailed me about this racket, saying how difficult, how, how you want to switch rackets, and this is the racket you have. Um, kind of, that's kind of what spurred on this video, because a lot of people have asked me about this racket in person uh, for so long. And I've always struggled with trying to find the right racket uh, to replace this one. So the, the one that comes to mind immediately would be the Pro Staff 97L. So yeah, the 97L comes to mind because we got a thinner beam, smaller, not 95, but 97. The weight's in realm, right? The weight is 10.2 without strings. So we're in realm. It's not a quarter of an inch longer though, but this is definitely, um, you know, should be in the running or in the top of, top of what we should consider, right? This is the easy answer um, if you're looking for the replacement. But, I mean, I've, I've gone down this road many times. Literally people have tried um, 20, 30 rackets and it's a tough racket to replace. 
Now, I mean, just going down my list here, I got Blade 98L that people have tried, right? The, some of the easy answers would be Pure Control, Pure Arrow, um, Pure Arrow VS, the old one, right? Because those are in the, that's in the 10.4 realm, right? On a 16 by 20, uh, 100 square inch head, no, 98 square inch head on that one. So we're getting close, right? I've had people try those because that's a very unique racket too. Um, Arrow Storm, right? Same thing, right? 10.4, 1620 on a 98. Very unique, would be very similar to this also. Now, so I mean, those are my top ones to, to run with. Um, the one racket that I've had the most success with is actually the uh, Wilson Steam 96. Wilson Steam 96. So the Steam 96, okay? Let's check off the boxes on the Steam 96. Okay, it's a 96 right? It's 22.5 mm. It's a two. It's a 16 by 20, right? It's 27.5. Okay. We've checked off a lot of the good boxes already, all right? This is mumbo jumbo. We don't care about that. The flex is a 70 though, so that's going to be stiffer. So the weight is 315. The swing weight is 330, oh, it's a three. Balance is 350. Oh. Okay. The reason why the steam works is actually it's checking off a lot of the boxes, right? Slightly thicker, slightly longer, one square inch bigger, same, same um, string pattern, right? Uh, flex, it is stiffer though, right? The weight, it is a little heavier. It's actually a good amount heavier, but that's okay. You can handle that part. Uh, the swing weight, that's in realm. That's not bad. Balance, right? So you're going to a slightly heavier overall with swing weight overall. Uh, balance head heavier also, right? So you're going to a slightly bigger girl's racket with the Steam 96. So that has been my most successful, um, you know, racket to transfer uh, this racket to. Uh, so, you know, but hey, the problem though is they stopped making that Steam 96. Those went on closeout. Um, I want to say eight years ago. No, 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 not eight years ago. Like three, four years ago, three, four years ago for about $99. So if you can find those at the aftermarket, um, they're probably going to be a right around $100. The Steam, Wilson Steam 96 would probably be your replacement racket. But um, guys, let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, if you've played with this racket and know this racket very well, what have you switched to? I mean, I've actually had to, you know, switch people out of this into pure drives, you know, Arrow Pros. I mean, those don't really match very well with this. Um, so the person pretty much had to reset their uh, muscle memory from this because this racket is so unique. Okay, so let me know guys, let me know. What did you, did you try this? Did it not, you know, did you have a hard time looking for a replacement for this racket? I know a lot of you did because, you know, I probably tried to replace these a lot of times over the last, you know, 15, 20 years. So thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.